In this video, I'll show you how to add clouds to a sky and how to quickly add dramatic sunset highlights using layer style. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add clouds to a sky using custom brushes and I'll also show you a really cool technique that I came up with to add realistic sunset highlights using only layer style. So this video is part of my course that comes with my brush bundle and will teach you how to use the brushes which is everything you need to replace skies or use them on any compositing project. If you haven't checked it out yet, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. So the main focus for this video is gonna be on how to create the highlights, but if you don't wanna get the brush bundle, you can still watch my previous video on YouTube on how to create cloud brushes and follow along. And I'll also leave a link to that video in the description. It's also important to know that this technique will only work on clouds with a transparent background, so it's best that you use cloud brushes or you can use cloud images and remove the background yourself. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna create a new layer and also we need to sample the same color of the existing clouds using Alt or Option. So for a low light image like this, I need to choose a brush with a uniform luminosity and no highlights in it. I like cloud number five. I'm gonna select it and I'm just gonna resize it to cover the entire canvas and click right here. As you can see, this brush worked very well with this image, so using clouds from a sunny day most likely is not gonna work on a low light image. So it looks like I didn't quite match the color of the clouds, so what you can also do is add a solid color, click OK for now, then invert the layer mask to hide this solid color. Now you can take the brush tool and make sure the foreground is white, so you paint with white to only reveal that color in the shape of the clouds. I hope that makes sense. This way we work non-destructively and we can double click on the solid color and change the color to anything we want. I'm gonna sample the same color of the clouds again and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Now we have a little problem here the cloud is on top of the palm tree and we can fix that very easily by double clicking on the solid color layer and in the blend if options under the underlying layer we're gonna move the slider to the right to tell Photoshop to hide this cloud from the dark areas. And you can also hold Alt or Option to split the slider and make the transition a little bit better. And now that looks much better. So in some cases you're gonna need to do a little bit of customization to get these brushes to work for your image and get the most out of them. And speaking of customization, we can make this cloud look even better by adding some sunset highlights to it, just like the original cloud you see here. So I'm gonna show you a really cool technique to achieve that very easily. So to do this, we're gonna double click on the solid color layer again to add some layer style. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. So we're going to use drop shadow in a different way than usual. First, I'm gonna change the blending mode to normal. I am also gonna change the color and pick a color from the sunset color here. I'll change the angle to the top right, increase the distance a little bit, and also increase the opacity. You can also control the angle by dragging the mouse inside the canvas itself. And now you can just play around with the distance and the size to achieve a bright highlight color in the bottom right corner of the clouds. You can see that the drop shadow is peeking through and it's changing the color of the clouds a little bit. And we can fix that by changing the blending mode to overlay. And now it's mostly visible on the edges. Now I'll just change the size and the distance to get the effect that I want. If you want the highlights to be soft, you can do that by increasing the size. Okay, so that's before and after. And if the effect is a little bit strong, you can always reduce the opacity to make it less visible. So that's how you can drastically improve the clouds just by using layer style. 
Now this effect is non-destructive so we can go back and change the color of the clouds and also the highlights at any time. But if you don't like the effect of this highlights to be visible everywhere, you can separate it on its own layer by right clicking on the layer style and clicking on create layer. Now this effect is on its own layer and all you have to do is add a layer mask to it and mask the areas that you don't want it to be visible in. So I'll just take a normal soft brush, reduce the opacity and the flow a little bit. And I'm going to mask it from the top area of this cloud here. Alright, so that's how to add dramatic clouds to a sky using custom brushes and layer style. If you are new here, my channel is all about Photoshop and compositing, so make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on new tutorials. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.